Hi, I'm Kathleen Jasper, and today we're going to go over the principles of learning and teaching the PLT for the Praxis exams. I have a little bit of information for you today that you will find helpful. Let's get started. So if you are a teacher who is getting certified in any one of the 36 states that uses the Praxis exams, you will most likely be required to take the PLT, Principles of Learning and Teaching. Now, this is a professional teaching exam. It is going to assess some of the more general aspects of education. So really quickly, typically, this isn't for every state, but typically, if you are trying to get certified as a teacher, you will take at least three exams. The first one is the Praxis Core. The second one is your subject area exam. So maybe the elementary education exam or the uh, math middle school exam, whatever your subject area is you're trying to teach. And then the third exam is the principles of learning and teaching. Now, if you are in a state that doesn't use Praxis, you still have a similar progression. You take a basic skills exam, which is like what the Praxis core is. You'll take your subject area exam, and then you'll take a test like like the PLT, like Texas calls it the PPR, but it's a similar exam. If you look at the test specs and the blueprints, they are very, very similar and assess the same thing. So regardless, this is going to help you today. I am going to focus on the praxis because that's my specialty. I do praxis exams and the PLT is broken up in different ways. So the PLT 5621 is the early childhood exam. So if you are trying to get certified in pre-K through third grade, you would take the PLT 5621, early childhood. The K-6 test, if you're trying to get certified in elementary school, the K-6 PLT is called the 5622. The 5623 is the middle school exam, five through nine. And then the 5624 is the high school exam, secondary uh, education, and that covers grades seven through 12. The thing is, though, is that this test really assesses all the same things. You're just going to have some high school examples at the 5624 exam. You're going to have pre-K three examples in the 5621 and so on and so forth. But the blueprint and specifications are pretty much identical. So this video is an overview of all of that. Now, there is a new PLT. It's called the 5625. And this is K through 12. And this is is all grade levels. So some states, I believe it's five states. I have a blog that I just did on it and I will link that up in the description below, but some states have chosen to go with a K-12 just to make it easier. I am sure, um, because other states are using, you know, the different grade levels. It just depends on what state you're in. You need to check what you need based on your state. So I'm going to link up the test specifications in the description below so you can take a look at your specific test specifications. I'll also link up where you need to go to determine what tests you need to take, whether or not you even have to take the PLT or if it's another exam. And of course, I have a ton of resources for this test. The first thing I have is a free webinar that's very extensive and it comes with a mini study guide with some test questions in it. And in the webinar, I go through the constructed response and how to write it. So definitely check that out and I will link that below and I'm going to show you where to get it. And the second thing I have is a study guide and online course. These are both really, really amazing resources for this test. And let me show you where to get that. So if you go to KathleenJasper.com under our programs, you'll see Praxis PLT here. And I have this big landing page for the PLT, which breaks down all of them. So you can see I have study guides here, online courses, and all of that. This PLT overview here is a very extensive blog about the test. If you want to learn more about scoring and more of the nuances about each and every aspect of the, the different PLTs, you can have a look at that there. And I will link that up in the description as well. But as you go down, you can see I have books for the 5621, 22, 23, and 24. So just buy one of the books. Don't get all of them because they all have virtually the same information. It's just that there are some middle school questions on the middle school one. There are some early childhood questions on the early childhood one. Be sure you just buy one book, okay? And of course, I have the online course, which comes with the study guide. So you don't have to buy the study guide when you buy the online course. And of course, you can just choose which grade level you want there. Now you might say, well, what if I need five, six, two, five? 
No problem. If you need 5625, what I recommend that you do, let me go back to PLT. I recommend you buy the 5621. And once you purchase that, you can let us know and we will send you the digital copy of the 5624. In that case, you will be covered K through 12 in this situation and um, you will be able to get all the information that you need. The same thing goes with the online course. If you decide I want the online course, but I'm taking the 5625, go ahead and buy the 5622 and I will send you the study guide for the 5624 and you will be covered for all those. Now, beyond the paid, let's say you don't want to spend money. You can go to our free webinars page here and scroll down and find my PLT webinar, which is right here. And if you click this, you just fill out this form. And when you do, you'll be taken to a thank you page and you will see that there's a webinar replay and a study guide. You can download the free study guide by clicking the link here. It's in a Google doc. You just download it for yourself. And then of course you can check out the replay of the webinar. It's on Vimeo and I go through everything there. So that, that part is free, but if you need more, I would definitely check out either the study guide or the online course. Remember you get the study guide with the online course. So don't buy both. If you have any questions, you can always email us at info at kathleenjasper.com and it'll be our pleasure to help. Good luck on your certification exams. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Have a great day.